a lot of these things that we uh, that we talk about are they're geared for residential and businesses as well. Um, as you know, we've we've started to kind of bring our crime prevention uh, towards the businesses in town as well, not just downtown but all over. And we've met with quite a few of the business owners. Uh, obviously, Carrie uh, is a lot more in tune with it because she goes to a lot of the meetings. She sits on some of the boards. Um, and we try and get the information out there for business owners. And that, that goes for the chains where there's a management, and there's a corporation, and things like that. We've been in contact with them. And we provide the same information. But today we wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, and we talk about it every year. Uh, some people take it to heart, and they do exactly what we ask of them, and then some people don't, and they become victims. So, uh, if you take the shopping centers during the holiday season, okay, and uh, when is the biggest shopping day of the season? What day? Day after Thanksgiving. Day after Thanksgiving. Stores are open later. Uh, you know, some of them stay open until midnight. Some of them open up at like 3 or 4 in the morning. Some ridiculous things. So that they get you in there so you can buy a lot of stuff. Uh, it's great for the economy. Okay, we get it. But you have to be really, really careful with how you shop. So if you go to these big shopping centers and it's during a busy time of day, uh, six, seven in the evening, everybody's just off work, rushing down there to get what they need to get. Uh, we're always looking for that closest parking space, are we not? Yes. Right? We don't want to have to walk all the way. <coughs> Sometimes that closest parking spot is not the best parking spot. Okay. Obviously, you don't want to park too far away, but what we want you to do is be aware of where you're parking. So if you're pulling into an area where you see some folks that are just kind of hanging around in the parking lot, they're not going to a car, they're not coming from a car, they're just kind of milling about. And they're right around the parking spot that you have to have. Why? Because it's only about 15 feet from the door. Correct? Why would you want to park there? You don't know what they're up to. Would it kill you to drive around a little bit and see a better spot? Or maybe see what it is that they're doing? That would help yourself out. Okay? That's what we ask you to do. Just be aware of these parking lots. The other thing is, is that if you got a bunch of, uh, you know, groceries, or you have a bunch of items that you just purchased, okay, and you're coming out to your car, have a plan. Know exactly where you're going in your car or where your car is parked. Don't be shuffling for your keys either in your pocket or in your purse. Or some people have even put their purses or their bags or whatever they need inside of the grocery bag, right? And now they got to shuffle through all that stuff to try and find where it is that they're gonna. They're going to get their keys. Well, when your head is down, what are you? What do we call you? A victim. A victim. We call you a target, okay? Because other folks are out there who want what you just purchased so that they don't have to purchase it, right? And if your head is down and you're looking, you're a target. And they're going to get you eventually, okay? So just be aware. Walk like you know where you're going. Like you have business. Walk with your head on a swivel, okay? And it looks very similar to this. You know exactly what you're doing. Not this, because that's the what? I don't know where I parked. <laughs> right? <laughs> so at least a half a dozen times during the holiday season, maybe more, we do get folks that come out of it. Let's take Bayfair. You come out, you go in one area of Bayfair, and you get shopping, and you get kind of turned around, and you walk out the other, and you go, oh. And people have actually reported their cars stolen. <laughs> I know I parked it right here. The space is empty. They stole my car. <coughs> and then the officer will drive them around the parking lot because we know uh, it wasn't lot A. It was actually lot C. Sorry. But that's okay. Just be aware. Okay? For the business owners, if you have a business that's in a, a thoroughfare like East 14 or even, you know, San Leonardo Boulevard, somewhere like that, if you have a, a retail portion or a point of sale and you have a register, okay? Don't have so much stuff on the windows that we can't see in. We as officers can't drive by and see in to see what's going on. Whether you're closed or not. Because if you're doing business and someone comes in, especially now when it's getting a little darker earlier, we can't tell. If there's so much advertisement and things in the window, we can't see. Okay? Some of the liquor stores, well, all the liquor stores, your 7-Elevens, your Quick Stops, things like that, uh, we can actually go by because by rule, for them to have a liquor license, they can only have so much advertisement in the window. Okay? And that's for that reason. They don't want somebody coming in and doing that. If you're a business owner, or if you're a shopper, 
and you happen to be in a store where you see something outside and you're not so free to walk outside because you're afraid of what is going on out there. People hanging out. No apparent business to be there. You can call or have the business owner call us to come by. Hey, there's some suspicious activity. There's some people outside. I want to go to my car, but I'm a little leery about doing that. And we will come out for you. Okay. Last year, I walked up and down the neighborhood right behind our police station. And then I went over to another area by Bancroft Middle School. And uh, Carrie, my partner, and I, we took pictures of the homes. <coughs> Beautiful homes, all decorated for Christmas time. Everything was good. Curtains were open. Nice big windows. Tree. Gifts. Everything. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Those days are probably over. Right? We're not going to do that. Um, and so I would knock on the doors. Some people didn't, they didn't take it well, and, but most folks did. They just didn't realize. Okay. Uh, the fire department will tell you about the lights. Uh, we tell you the same thing. Um, even if you have fire retardant or something that's on the tree itself, accidents happen. Just unplug it. You know, light it up in your home, and you're going to be in that room. Packages in the car. How many of us leave packages in the car and go to another store? Yes. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I just raise my hand to see if you guys right. Um, don't do it. Don't do it. We have an operation that we, uh, and Doug can talk on it uh, a little bit, that we do. Um, I think there's only one year, probably in the last 10 years, that we haven't done it. Um, it's an operation where we go out and we'll have a vehicle. We put it out there. It's ours. Um, and we'll put some gifts or something in there, something obvious. We'll surveil that vehicle and wait to see if somebody's going to be bad. We're nice. We do get a lot of people who will walk by, walk by twice, yes? You're only talking about packages that are exposed, right? I mean, if you have a covered trunk, isn't that okay? Well, if you have your packages in the trunk, right. Right. Okay. okay. But here's the thing about packages in the trunk. If I walk out of Macy's and I have all the packages and I go into my trunk out in the parking lot, I open it, I put everything in there because now I'm going to go to another store. No. Those trunks are not, you know, remember what was it? We played tag or hide and go see? Holly, Holly, I'll come for you. That's not a safe thing. No, they'll break right into that. Yeah. Uh, but if you're just going to leave, then that's no problem. Yeah, put it in the trunk. Okay. Um, any questions about that? What well, you should or shouldn't do for that? It's yeah. just if you're putting it in the trunk, don't leave your purse on the shopping cart. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> but I put them in the trunk, and then I drive to another location, to another yeah. store. Well, if it's, it's a big enough area, then they don't no problem. In my trunk. Okay. No problem. I mean, I, yeah. I'm just saying, don't, don't feel that your trunk is the safety zone. There's no way they're going to get into that. That's because the manufacturer made it so that that can't happen. Because that's not the truth. Um, they will get in there. So this operation that we do is uh, run through the holidays. Uh, and we have officers out there that are watching. Uh, the major shopping centers, and we'll move it around a little bit so that we can get it in there. Uh, we do have folks that are going to be out there in the downtown area, uh, you know, kind of a high presence. We have the bicycle unit out there, as we do every year, um, and we'll try and, uh, and nip things in the bud so that uh, you can have a, you know, a great holiday. Any questions? Yes? So when you set up this little sting operation, do does somebody fall for it every time? Do you catch somebody every time or no? Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I don't have the, the statistics on last year. Or, or we didn't do a bait car last year. Um, we made, uh, 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 during the operation, during the holiday season, we uh, made several arrests, but it was never uh, in regards to a bait car. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. The other thing that comes out during the holidays, and that's only because a lot of you were out there shopping, right? So there's a, there's a bigger pool to choose from are the scams, okay? If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Don't fall for it. A laptop computer costs how much? Six, seven hundred probably up to whatever, two thousand. So if somebody is gonna sell it to you for two or three hundred dollars <laughs> out of their trunk, <laughs> it's probably not a good deal. Because I'll tell you what it is. Lately, and they're really good at it, especially the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> they have the exact color, copy, or cardboard piece that's actually on the box of a new laptop. And that'll be the front. They will take that plastic and wrap it so tight that it actually has squares. 
And inside of that will be some stolen tiles for your kitchen. Ceramic tiles, give it that weight, just enough. Okay? You shake it and it's not going to rattle. And everything's on there. And they talk so fast. And cash only. And this is a deal. Look, I got four others. All I got to do is get rid of these and we're done. Tell you what, $300 is too much, you can be 150 yeah. And you're buying it. And you're getting what we call a box of rocks. Mm -hmm. The lotto ticket. If you didn't buy the winner, nobody else did either. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that parking lot. <laughs> okay? And the fact that they come from another country and they know that if they go get the cash, I'm just telling you, this is how the scam goes. If they go get the cash, they're going to get deported. But if you give me a little bit of cash to show me that you, you, know, you like me because, hey, we're together. Oh, oh, here's another guy that walks up. I'm going to give him the same deal. The two of you give me this, I give you the winning numbers, here you go. People fall for it every day. And they're out like thousands of dollars with a piece of paper. And no winning numbers, by the way. So these are scams that are out there, and it's the holidays we, they pick up because there's so many of you out there shopping. And so that's what these people do. They pray on okay? Yeah. Sir? Is it safe to send the car where my wife uh, goes shopping? To sit in the, in the car? Parking? Yeah. This is what I would say about sitting in the car. I do it all the time. Car naps are the best naps. Are they not? <laughs> Especially if it's a little warm outside, you can just kind of kick in, you're done. Right? You're out. Just be aware of where you're sitting. That's all. Don't be so engrossed in the book or falling asleep or, right? Just be aware of where you're at. And, and you, you should be okay. Yeah. Um, but I would certainly say that if, if you're going to park somewhere like that, just make sure it's in an area where you can walk around or you can look around. Because we do it. Okay, we do it. Any other questions? Regarding shopping centers, does Macy's report much um, in, you know, theft of their merchandise? And I'm just asking because I was at Macy's this week, middle of the day, and one salesperson on the entire second floor, or uh, third floor, on the house worth for one salesperson to run the register, nobody to help in the other areas. And I'm just thinking, aren't they opening themselves up to a lot of shoplifting if they only have one person on the entire floor? You know, I don't know that they have any more than you know anyone yeah. else. It's a big store, yes. so by volume alone, I mean, yeah. they, they, they do. But they do a pretty good job of and their in-house security. We walked out of the store, and there were some people next with us, a shopping bag, and the, sense, and the beepers went off. And we continued to walk, and they continued to walk, mm -hmm. and there was nothing on us, nothing on our tags, but they might have had a sensor that didn't get taken off, but there was no guard to it. It, it happens. It happened to me the other day uh, going out of one of the stores, and the lady says, don't worry about it. And, you know, they had an issue with the... So you can imagine during the holidays, there's going to be a lot of don't worry about it. Because you know, they don't have the time, yeah. or the staff, to take care of that. And traditionally, cashiers aren't the ones that catch people stealing. It's the undercover, the undercover uh, people that are...